Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at price elasticity of supply, PES calculations, and then we'll be finishing off with a summary. Okay, so we already know that if the price of a good changes, we know that the quantity supplied will change too. And we can see this on our supply diagram. Now remember our axes that are labeled as price on the y-axis and quantity on the x-axis. Never forget those when you are writing out your supply and demand diagrams. So if the price, say, increased from this point, P, up to here, P1, then we know that the quantity supplied is changing too. So it goes from Q to Q1. And one thing to note is that they are both moving in the same direction. And what do I mean by that? Well, if price is increasing, then quantity is increasing as well. Equally, if we did it in reverse and said price was decreasing, so let's go from this point to this point, quantity is decreasing too. So they're going in the same direction. However, the amount by which supply will change depends on the good. So say something takes a long time to grow, such as a tree, then the supply of that good will be quite slow. So even if the price changes, a firm that does supply trees won't be able to change their supply of trees particularly fast if the price increases. And the characteristic which determines the extent to which supply will change due to a given change in price is called the price elasticity of supply. So the price elasticity of supply, otherwise known as PES, is the responsiveness of supply for a good or service to a change in its price measured as a numerical value greater than zero. So in general, when we're talking about the elasticity of something, we're talking about the responsiveness of one variable to a change of another variable. And we're going to be focusing on the change of a price because firms are going to be responding to price changes in the market. And therefore, we're going to be observing at how much the quantity changes in response to the price. Okay, so let's talk about price elasticity calculations. And we're going to be dealing with numbers here, so we can use maths to work out what our PES is. And our PES is going to be a value which measures the change in supply due to a change in its prices. So let's talk about what the equation is going to be. Well, we're going to start off with PES on the left-hand side. And then on the top, we will have percentage change in quantity supplied. And then below... In the denominator, we're going to have the percentage change in the price. And these are all going to be related to our goods. So it's going to be the quantity supplied of the good and the percentage change in the price. So let's walk through a very simple example. So the percentage increase in price is 50%. And the percentage increase in quantity supplied of the good is 150%. So let's calculate our PES. So for shorthand, I'm going to write out our equation, so for percentage increase in quantity supplied of a good, I'm going to write percentage change of Q divided by the price, which is going to be the percentage change of P and P for price. So what are those numbers going to be? Well, we have percentage increase in quantity supplied of a good, which is 150%. That's a positive number. That's divided by 50%, which is the percentage increase in price. Again, that is also a positive number. And therefore, our PES is going to be three, okay? And this is going to be just a raw number by itself. There's going to be no percentage science involved. But always remember, when we are doing our price elasticity equations, we are doing it in percentages because we're looking at the proportional changes. So now let's look at another example where we're dealing with raw numbers. So the price of a phone falls from £200 to £100, and the quantity supplied decreases from 50 to 10. So we're going to be using this data to calculate our PES. So let's just remind ourselves once more of our equation for PES. That is PES is equal to percentage change of quantity, and the numerator is percentage change of price. And what about our equation for percentage changes? For that, we're going to be using our raw numbers to work out our percentage change. So it will be new figure minus old figure divided by the old figure. And then that is multiplied by 100. So now let's find the percentage change in quantity supplied. 
And that's going to be our new figure for quantity supplied is 10. And we're going to minus our old figure, which was 50. And that's going to be divided by the old figure of 50. So we have minus 40 over 50 times that by 100. And we get minus 80% as our percentage change in quantity. So now how about our percentage change in price? So our new figure is 100 and our old figure is 200. And that's going to be divided by the old figure of 200 pounds. And then that's all multiplied by 100 pounds. Okay, so 100 minus 200 is going to be minus 100. And that's divided by 200 pounds. And then we multiply that by 100 and that gives us a number of minus 50%. Okay, so now that we have our two numbers, let's write down the expression for the PES. So PES is equal to our percentage change in quantity, which we saw was minus 80%. And that is divided by our percentage change in price, which was minus 50%. Now, one thing that we can recognize is that our negative signs here they're going to cancel out. So we have a number above zero and that's what we're looking for. So 80% over 50% and that is going to be equal to 1.6. Okay, so that gives us our PES. And that's a positive number that is above zero. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're looking for an amazing A-level economics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make A-level economics a walk in the park.